To complete step two of the basic part, we need to modify one final feature, and that would be this cut extrude feature you see here. If you recall in step one, this angle here was 90 degrees. Now we have an angle of 30 degrees. Let's go to the drawing views. We still have the same dimension 6, 32, and 16 from step 1. However, this angle is no longer 90 degrees, but instead dimension D of 30 degrees. Let's go to SolidWorks and modify this feature. If I select this feature in the Feature Manager design tree, this is Cut Extrude 1. If I expand it and edit the sketch, you'll see this sketch was created on the front plane. And if you recall, I purposely placed the sketch on the incorrect plane. It should have been the right plane. Now I'm going to show you how to fix that in a second, but before I do that, let me close out of this sketch, edit the Cut Extrude 1 feature, and show you what happens if we apply a draft angle of 30 degrees. Notice it's drafting in the wrong direction. So that's not going to work. I'm going to go ahead and cancel the cut extrude feature. Now to fix this, what we need to do is take the sketch 2, take it from the front plane, and place it on the right plane. How do we do that? It's pretty easy. I am going to right mouse click in sketch 2. I have an option here for edit sketch plane. Notice the sketch is currently on the front plane. I am going to select the right plane. And as soon as I click the green check mark, I will receive an error message. Simply select continue. And now I am going to edit this sketch. I am going to change this value. I'm just going to bump this up a little bit. Let's say 50. That way it extends beyond the part. I still have my 32 dimension. I'm going to close out of the sketch. Once again, I receive an error message. Now I need to edit the cut extrude feature. I'll right mouse click, edit feature. Instead of selecting through all both, I want to cut this into the part a distance of six millimeters. And notice I still have direction two selected. I'm going to uncheck that. I'm cutting in the wrong direction. So I will reverse the direction. And now I can apply my draft angle of 30 degrees. It's drafting inward. I need it to draft outward. I'm going to close out of the cut extrude command by selecting the green check mark. And there we have the updated feature. As you can see, it would have been much easier to modify this feature had I initially created that center point rectangle sketch on the correct plane, the right plane. Now let's check the mass to see if the mass is correct. It's showing 295.38, and we see we have a value of 295.38. So our model is correct.